this is Catherine Hanrahan for Peterborough's Best Rock, and I am live on the line with a band that's uh, coming actually to perform on Saturday night. Hello, Park Lane. Hello. How's it going? Awesome. Excellent. Excellent, excellent. So you guys are uh, originally from Cape Town, South Africa. What the heck are you doing in Canada? We, uh, we fell asleep in the train. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I've had that happen before, actually. It's awkward. No, so- what actually happened was we got invited to play Canada Music Week, and we decided to stay for an extra few months and make a trip of it. Okay, great. So you've been here. Now, that was a few months ago. How long have you been here now? This is March. Yeah. Four months. Four months. Okay. We, we decided to stay. We're not leaving it anymore. Yeah, we, we love Canada too much. What uh, what was the music scene like there, and how were you involved with it? Were you playing club shows there? or? Yeah, we, we started playing clubs. Obviously, um, that was the starting point, and eventually started building our name. And uh, For the last month in South Africa, we did a, a, a national tour. So we, we, we went to all the cities and played a whole bunch of shows. And that was obviously the climax of our South African experience. And <laughs> yeah, you must understand in South Africa, you tour the whole country in a month. <laughs> well, that was, yeah, that's what I was really curious about. You know, what's it like to be a musician there? What's the music scene like there? The music is great. And the bands are hardworking. Um, and they write good songs. And they have very good uh, uh, live shows. It's just, it's just uh, in terms of the, of the actual industry, there's a very, um, what I call a fragile infrastructure. So, so you'll find that the bands do all the work from the, from the advertising to the postering to the actual playing to actually getting all the people there and being paid off the show, you know. So it's an all-round trip if you're playing in a, if playing a rock band there. The thing with, with, with rock in, in South Africa, it's, you really have to be one of the big, big, big or well, well-known bands in South Africa to be played on, on national radio. Um, it's not like here where you've got 20 radio stations in one city. So, so since coming to Canada four months ago, how have you found your experiences here compared to what, what it was like there? Oh, the day and night. Well, the day part. and night difference. Yeah, my, my experience here is here you get treated like a musician, you get treated like an artist, you get... Treat you get respected for what you're doing. In South Africa, everybody's got day jobs. And everybody is, yeah, it's a hobby. <laughs> if you, you've got your 95 job, everything else is hobby. So, uh, yeah, in Canada, you can actually pursue a, a career in music, which is awesome. So, have you traveled at all to the U.S. in your time uh, in North America? Actually, all our gigs in Ontario at the moment. Yeah, we, we haven't even been out of Ontario yet. <laughs> wow. There's, it's, there's, it's a very big country, guys. <laughs> this province is as big as that, our uh, whole country. Whole country so. yeah. the, the thing is, when, when we got to Canada, we got off the airplane not knowing if we are even going to get picked up by the airport. And uh, um, the, the last four months that we've been here, we've, we've met up with some really awesome people in the music industry. And we've met up with all the sharks <laughs> in the music industry. In Ontario. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's been it was a crash course. It was a crash course in learning how to, uh, to, to be a musician in a, in a first world country. And uh, on, on MySpace in South Africa, we used to get 70 to 100 plays a day um, on MySpace, which is nothing. We came to Canada and, and our listens and our plays and our hits on MySpace has gone up from 70 to like five, 600 plays a day. Wow. Which is amazing, you know. Um, You're gathering a fan base. Do you want to give a plug, by the way, to your MySpace? Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Our MySpace is obviously myspace.com forward slash band park lane. That's B A N D P A R K O A N E. <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> yeah. checking on the chalkboard yet? <laughs> so now, Park Lane. So are you finding now, are those uh, are those fans coming out to shows here in Ontario as well? And what's what's the fan support been like? It's been amazing. It's been absolutely awesome. We played the other night with, uh, with Biss Naked in uh, Owen Sound, and it was a sold-out crowd. It was amazing. It's done. I was just mad. Um, it's the first time that we re- really felt like rock stars. We were escorted, <laughs> escorted by the security. We were signing all kinds of wonderful body body parts <laughs> and stuff. It was amazing. Cool. Did you guys get to uh, meet with Biff Naked? Did you get to hang out with her at all? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. She's got one hell of a big tour bus. 
I bet. And that's all they're going to say. Oh. <laughs> no, that's where we stop. We've signed contracts on the Never get on a rock star's tour bus, you guys. It's dangerous. <laughs> like we say, I mean, it's been a crash course, you know. <laughs> So, uh, now I also heard that uh, you've got a bit of a nickname here that you've acquired uh, since you've uh, come to uh, come to North America, and that <laughs> is the it's Gentleman of Rock. What's that all about? <laughs> Damo, Damo will elaborate. Is this that we it's named... The elaborator. Is this that we named the uh, Gentleman of Rock and Roll? Yeah. The Gentleman of Rock. What's that all about? It's all about the rhythm section. <laughs> <laughs> Don't lie. I think it stems from because we, we are very easy to work with. We don't give people problems, you know. We're on time and um, and we just generally do our job and, and we rock. walk away happy people. And, and, and we rock. Yeah, <laughs> and of course, of course we rock. Yeah. Yeah. Very and nice. I think it boils down to, we, we don't subscribe to that uh, traditional idea of a rock star of, of, you know, being arrogant and drunk and making a fool of himself and throwing name and all of that. We did it at home. Yeah, <laughs> we did that in the confines. <laughs> of our tour bus. <laughs> well, you know, it, it, <laughs> yeah. Ca- Canadians are, are well known for being really uh, mild mannered and polite. So it's got to, you know, it means a lot if that's coming from us, if we're uh, referring oh, cool. to you as a gentleman uh, of rock. So well earned. Good job. Thank you. It's nice to know. So uh, my final question now, or, or, or getting toward the end, now there's this old uh, rock and roll cliche, uh, a music reviewer's cliche, when they're trying to describe a new band to uh, their audience, they'll say something to the effect of, it's like uh, ACDC and Led Zeppelin had a baby, and, uh, and that would be this band. So, so I'm going to put you on the spot here. Who would your illegitimate rock and roll parents be? Our dad would be Brian Adams. Oh. Yeah. Brian Adams. That's another Canadian. Yeah. <laughs> and our mom, our mom would be Deborah Harry. Wow. That would be such a cool baby. <laughs> That's what I think. Okay. And, I'm, and I'm always right. I'm the drunk. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's the research. Deborah Harry. <laughs> Oh, Blondie. Wow, Damien, you've got very cool parents. <laughs> no, yeah, so, 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 just in terms of, of, of like live show and music and um, energy-wise, you know, I'll say that. Okay, excellent, excellent. Well, tell us uh, what we can expect from your show on Saturday. Um, just a damn fun time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what, what you can expect from a Park Lane show is we have a, a really uh, good time on stage when we play, and uh, that's what comes through uh, to the crowd and, and the crowd gets involved. And, and, and our new Parkland motto for live show is, is after, I made it up now, that's what I said, <laughs> is that there's always space on the dance floor for just one more. <laughs> 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 That's a great motto, guys. Well, looking forward to uh, Saturday night. Again, yeah. it's uh, Park Lane Live. It's been yeah. a pleasure talking to the Gentleman of Rock. Should have Could have been me Cause I can't see the light